Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to show you guys one of the strongest builds in New World. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know I don't usually play the Great Axe and Hatchet, but like I said, this is one of the strongest combos in the game. I'm going to talk to you guys about why this is, what kind of gear I go, what kind of really build I go completely when it comes to gems, when it comes to, you know, abilities. We're going to go over all of it. So if you guys want to learn a little bit more about this build, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, like I said, we're back with a build, one of the strongest in the game, easily for open world PvP, that's going to be the Great Axe Hatchet, you guys already know that though, I want to show you guys why this build is so strong, covering all of the abilities to all of the different attributes you should be focusing on when using these, really, this combo all together. So, really, if we jump into the attributes, the first thing I'm going to notice is, you know, getting yourself to 300 strength is a very, very important thing to do because of a couple different things at 50 you're going to get five percent damage to melee weapon light attacks not a huge deal usually you're using your heavy attacks with the great axe but with the hatchet you are typically going to use light attacks we also have the 10 percent damage to melee weapon heavy attacks this is going to be very very strong as well because this is going to give you 10 percent more damage to obviously like i said melee weapon heavy attacks which is going to be the primary thing you're going to be doing with the great axe next we have 50 percent stamina damage from melee weapons light and heavy attacks so this is going to be another very very strong really giving you insane damage you know with your melee weapon light and heavy attacks i want to jump though to 200 because at 200 you're going to do 10 percent damage on stunned slowed and rooted enemies another great great one to grab because you are going to have the great axe and you're going to be applying that grab well which is obviously going to be more of a root kind of a slow situation there, going to provide more damage we also have stamina regen is faster while performing light and heavy attacks with the melee weapon and then last but not least the most important light and heavy attacks with a melee weapon gain grit so the grit it basically means you cannot be stopped when you're in mid mid swing here you'll see it i actually turn you can see that if we zoom in i kind of uh you know i get highlighted my character kind of highlights up with a little bit of white that just means i'm you know doing a grit attack and it's not just on the great axe it's also going to be on the hatchet like i said but i want to jump back over to the let's see here let's go back to the weapon mastery so or actually the attributes because you know you're going to have strength that's going to be the most important part of this as great axe and hatchet both scale with strength more than anything else but the next thing we're going to focus on is constitution because you're going to want more than 67 constitution when you get to 300 strength i do suggest getting at least to 250 constitution if possible if you're not quite there yet continue to build that up the big one starts at 100 when you can actually get increased max health by 10 percent of your physical armor and then 150 another big one minus 10 percent crit damage taken and it continues to get stronger and stronger obviously as you get higher and higher in constitution so just get as much as you possibly can 300 strength 67 constitution going to be a big deal for you i do want to jump though into the actual weapon mastery so let's jump into great axe first and explain what's going to be so strong about this build when it comes to open world like i said you're going to be able to chase anybody down the main reason this build is so strong is because you have berserk see how fast i am right now with berserk it may not look insanely fast but you're going to be able to see as soon as it stops here in five seconds how much it slows down and uh, you're going to be able to see this obviously a big difference when you're out there running and trying to chase people down we also have the charge right and that's going to be one of the biggest reasons as to why you're going to be fast as well that charge is a very very long distance and then all you have to do is throw this gravity well out which is by the way a fairly large range and it'll slow them down at the very least if they don't get caught in there and you can pull them back to you with your reap and that's going to be a very very strong combo obviously with a lot of damage coming from not just your feral rush but you can also try raging torrent like i said i want to cover kind of the abilities there and kind of jump into the passives as well so this is going to be the great axe tree we're going to pretty much take everything on the charge side to make sure we have the biggest momentum there with charge as we possibly can. Then you're going to want to take reap. Like I said, that's the pull in. So you can actually pull them closer to you if they don't have a jump or sorry, a dash. And, you know, they can not actually dash through this reap. So it's, uh, you know, something you're going to want to use when they have no dashes left. If you can keep track of that, the biggest and strongest part of this build is going to be the last two things, though. 
Obviously, passives, you're going to want to read these as you select them if you want to look through them all. But the biggest thing is going to be Bloodlust. So when you move, you move 30% faster and deal 15% more damage when you're just looking at a foe within 15 meters. You can understand how strong that really is. 30% faster, 15% more damage. All you have to do is just look at a foe within 15 meters. 15 meters, by the way, is a fairly large distance. And you can uh, we can check that out on the map here in a second. But the other thing you're going to take a look at is Gravity Well. So throw an axe, create a vortex that pulls foes closer to its center for 3 seconds. And we'll take the Crowded Well, which basically just increased the burst damage by 10% for each foe caught in the vortex. So if you're trying to 1v2, 1v3, it's going to be very, very helpful. We are going to kind of ditch the Unyielding, just because this is going to be more of an allies gaining fortify you're not going to really throw this at your allies per se and most of the time like i said this is going to be a 1v1 build or not even just a 1v1 build but a 1vx build to where you're trying to you know just outplay by yourself we're going to jump though into the hatchet abilities next because the hatchet abilities are also going to be very very special when it comes to this build it's not going to be all about the great axe it's going to be about the duo the combo and the most important ability you guys should know it by now berserk Berserk is actually going to be easily one of the strongest abilities in the game right now. It's going to speed you up insanely, insanely quickly. And with this, you're going to have an insane, like I said, 12 seconds burst of speed. And you'll also increase your attack damage by 20% when active. So next, we're going to have the Feral Rush. This is going to be a sprinting melee attack that causes the player to leap forward hitting twice. This is going to be a ton of damage on your first hit and your second hit. So to make sure to hit both of those. The next one's going to be very, very kind of limited as these two are your main really reasons to be playing hatchet is feral rush and berserk i did take raging torrent just in case you get them maybe stuck in your grav well and you want to attempt the raging torrent it does insane damage however you have to realize it's very very hard to hit on a pvp enemy i'm going to show you like i said raging torrent this is raging torrent and it's like i said a very hard ability to hit all four attacks but if you do they will feel it it's a very very strong strong damage there that comes out I do want to jump into now the armor. So the big thing I will always tell you guys is I prefer medium armor. When you're trying to outplay, when you're trying to continue to have fun, medium armor is going to be one that keeps you alive against muskets, rapiers, and really, you know, bows and anything ranged. I said rapier specifically because typically you'll see a rapier user with those ranged, uh, you know, those ranged weapons like the ice gauntlet, the fire staff, the bow, the rape, or sorry, the, the musket as well. If you're wanting to just continue to gain more momentum, more speed in like 1v1s against maybe a bow player or just 1v1s in general open world and you want to be the fastest you possibly can because that's all what this build is about, going light is not a bad option. So you can take off you know, some of this and change into a light build. But like I said, this is going to be the max medium, which is going to be heavy head, heavy chest, medium gloves, light legs, and then medium foot. If you want to go into, like I said, a more of a light build, you can actually get to the highest light with, I believe it's light everything, and then a heavy, or actually I think it's a medium chest, is going to get you that maximum light weight. And that's if you want to roll. Obviously, like I said, right now, we can use three jumps until we are out of stamina. With light, you only get two jumps, but it's actually going to be more of a roll. And we've showed you guys that before, but I might as well show you guys again. So this is what you'll get instead of the typical three jumps. I do want to jump, though, into Carnelians, because... Carnelians are only for PvE, and I don't think everyone understands that. There is no reason to put a Carnelian gem into your sockets when it comes to your weapons here. What I would typically go is the Malachite when it comes down to the Great Axe, because you're going to be all about doing damage to those players, and I'm not going to put it in right now just because I want to use this for future builds, but you're going to want to put that Malachite in your Great Axe for increased 12% damage against targets with an active crowd control status effect, which is always going to be your great axe. Your great axe is going to do so much damage with that hatchet. I wouldn't actually apply the Malachite with hatchet. I would go opal. You're always going to be low on stamina because you're going to continue to be running, chasing, and using your stamina. You're going to have increased 15% while your stamina is not full. You could also go a different route with that. You can go emerald as well. Emerald is opportunist, so 20% damage against targets with less than 30% health because you're going to bring your hatch out most likely if it's coming down to the wire. And another thing I didn't really notice or mention, I should say, is the undying ultimate. So we talked about Great Axe's ultimate, how it gives you more chase and more damage. The Undying Defy Death Ultimate is unbelievably strong. Avoid Death reduced to 50 HP and gain, 
immortality for three seconds, only a 75 second cooldown. Make sure to take advantage of this. Understand that you should switch over to your hatchet if you're about to die because you'll get that three second invulnerability. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. Like I said, this is one of the most fun builds out there. I've tested it quite a bit in these test servers that you're seeing now, but I haven't actually had the chance to get my Great Axe to level 20 and my Hatch to level 20, or trust me, I would be playing it in the real deal right now. So I want to chest all these builds out. This is definitely going to be, like I said, one of the strongest when it comes to solo PvP in the open world, in New World altogether. Like I said, one of the strongest builds. So thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.